Welcome back to another episode. Uh, today's gonna be a pretty fun one. I've got my friend here, Rodney. He's a V6, and uh, and he's called Rodney because he just goes knock, knock, knock. Uh, and I got a Cummins. Nice 12 valve, NV45, uh, V6, out, because it's basically in its natural resting place anyway, garbage. And, uh, and 12 hours. So it's basically a six cylinder for six cylinder swap. How, you know, it's got to be easy as, isn't it? So automatic, MV45, I'm going to get a pedal box and then hopefully that will be pretty easy. So good thing about third gens, there was plenty of diesels in the standard. So getting a pedal box is pretty easy. Actually, I asked my buddy and he's already got one. So uh, let's get to it. Making some progress, uh, mostly just plucking away. Obviously, got the radiator out and the uh, core support, and just undoing the wiring harness. Gonna pull the whole thing out in one big lump, and then uh, I'll try and get figure out where they all go. All these thinking wires. Try and use the um, temp temperature uh, temp sensor and everything, so the cluster still works. But there's the uh, 12 valve ready to go. This is a culprit, this is a guy here, yeah, knock, 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 just waiting to uh, punch a hole through the block. Here's uh, Rodney, knock, knock, knock. All right, made a lot of progress off camera um, in a bit of a time crunch, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, as far as fitment, it fits in the hole of this V6 one anyway. 
Uh, actually lines up with the mounts, but the issue is the mounts put it too low. So I cut the 12 valve mounts. You see all the way down there? And welded them on and it just makes it a little bit higher. I did that on both sides. Uh, I'm, you know, violated the uh, wiring harness. So I've got it so it'll turn over. Uh, I'm gonna mount this. Doo -doo. And then put it just like a pod filter there. That'll be easier. Uh, thinking of mounting another battery, maybe here. I'm gonna wait and see when the uh, intercooler piping and everything and uh, you know radiator condenser we're gonna have AC factory AC bought all factory third gen uh, Dodge AC stuff so that should work uh, brakes uh, work pretty good fit the AFC housing is well it was a little bit close but it's not too bad uh, throttle cable I'm uh, gonna have to make something work there and as far as the pedals, we're just I uh, just got a third gen full set of pedals. Yeah, I'll go and show you. Okay, this is what I got. This is complete third gen uh, from a diesel truck. I imagine a gas truck would work fine too. Uh, this one actually has the flash pedal ins and outs. So hopefully it should get that to work. It's only a, a two wire plug, so it'll just be reverse polarity. will make it go in and out, so it shouldn't be too hard. But I think it's one of those deals where you just kind of set and forget. So uh, that's where we're at with that. I'll probably uh, put it in. Uh, take a little while. Not sure whether I should just try and undo the deal here and slide it in, or just bolt the whole pedal assembly I'll see what's easier but uh, that's where we're at pulled the pump out and modified it so it's just a straight pickup uh, now I'm draining the last of the gas that was in there straight straight in there it's my little runabout a little Fiat a bar it's a fun little guy so this will be the next step I've got the pedals in boom so, I think this is a little uh, tracker deal from, anyway. Pedals are in. Shift is in. Still got that. I'm not sure what to do about that. Whether I pull everything apart or... Anyway, it'll probably have to go. It's pretty hideous. But everything's in. The pedals work. I ordered a new set of rubbers, so they'll be in soon. But that's where we're at. Making great progress, uh, runs and drives, but I have the dreaded tappet cover leak, so I've got to fix that. I bought a billet cover. Would have been much easier while the engine was out, but you know, I was hoping to get away with it. It's like a two week build. I'm on a very, I say, time poor sensitive. I've got to head back. I'm in Texas right now, but I've got to go back to Montana. So I'm trying to get this done, but this is how I made the uh, the tack work. So it's still running the original, got well, not running, but have the original computer in, which is reading the information. Uh, I have the uh, water temp sensor down the side, oil pressure, alternator, and this is the tone ring from the V6. It's kind of held in uh, from the uh, crank bolt. But, uh, you know, works, works, right? It's not gonna come flying out. So yeah, tack works, speed works, oil pressure works, temp works. Everything works on the dash like it should. Obviously, the check engine light's on, but, you know, that's to be expected. We can delete that. But, uh, yeah, drive shaft's in. I uh, modified the gas tank, put the 3500 coil springs in it. I'm gonna get some lift to level it out and uh, I got some Fuel wheels To put on it some 20s They're pretty cool 400 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. It's got some nitos on it Not bad But uh, the insides looking pretty good Let's have a little look-see oh, oh, Door chime Obviously got my pedals in. Shifter, had to take out the little cup holder, that's a bit disappointing. 
For some reason my shifter is in slightly different spot, but anyway. better breakdown uh, once everything's done and obviously want to get the AC and everything to work so yeah the AC is all new it's all third gen compressor uh, everything I'm just waiting to put the condenser in then I'm gonna hook it all up uh, I've got still got the factory pressure sensor so all that stuff uh, should work I got the uh, diesel third gen lines uh, as far as the AC, it should work as factory third gen. So that's one less drama. You gotta have AC, especially in Texas. <laughs> 